Am I the asshole for leaving my friend's wedding when I was told I needed to cover up my psoriasis? Stories like this, y'all, always bother me. I, 24 female, have psoriasis and it's all over my body and presents like vitiligo in a way. I have medicated cream that helps with the itchiness and also helps with the dryness. It's all over my body with it stopping right on my neck and I do have a few spots on the sides of my face near my ears. I've always been pretty embarrassed as I can't cake on enough makeup to truly cover it. My doctor also recommended not to smother the areas with makeup as it tends to make it worse and itchier. Anyways, my friend's wedding was on Saturday and of course I was invited. I bought a dress that would cover my body fairly well as I didn't want to draw attention to myself. The entire week leading up to the wedding, I was continuously testing concealers on the remaining spots that were exposed. This caused me to itch, which caused me to scratch, and then to bleed, and my boyfriend said I just shouldn't cover it. I agreed, and the wedding ceremony was great. But as we were leaving to go to cocktail hour, she asked if I was going home to cover my psoriasis. I explained why I couldn't, and she said she didn't care, and she didn't want her guests asking me questions or feeling queasy during dinner. My boyfriend said if that's the case, we're leaving. In other words, he claims to predict the future. Am I the asshole for refusing to give my boyfriend a percentage of my raise just because he predicted it? Okay, this might sound kind of, you know, but let me explain. I, 32 female, have been with my boyfriend, 35 male, for 7 years. He has what he calls a supernatural ability, and that is to dream about things or events before they take place. In other words, he claims to predict the future. He once talked about seeing me getting a new car in his dream, and in 2 months time, I bought a new car that I was saving for. Another example, he told me about seeing a new friend coming into my life in this dream. Turns out he was talking about the dog I adopted in July. Basically events that weren't so surprising. Now I've got a raise at work, around 40% after working my ass off for 6 plus years with this company. I was happy because now I get to renovate parts of the house I've always wanted to. And when I told my boyfriend, he told me to set aside a percentage of the money for him. I was so confused and I asked why and he said it was because he already dreamed about me getting a raise and predicted this event before it happened. I said, I don't know, since I don't recall he ever told me. He got upset and said that the reason he didn't tell me was because how I kept making fun of his abilities and that I could go ask his friends and they'll confirm that he did in fact see this coming. I said I was sorry, but this seemed illogical and unreasonable of him. I refused to give him any money and he flipped out and called me ungrateful and claimed that I was turning my back on the people who helped me in a way to get this race. I'm just, I'm just like trying to understand like, let's say, let's say you did predict it. I don't understand why you need any of her money. That makes absolutely no sense. It's not like she won the lottery and you predicted the lottery numbers. It's her job. Okay, like why? Is, I don't understand. Not gonna lie, I kind of laughed at the absurdity of this, but he got even more offended and said that I can't blame him for not telling me after I kept mocking him like that. I refused and said that no way in hell was I going to give him any percentage and would rather save the extra money for renovation work around the house. We had an argument and he left to be with his friends who later got involved and said that the way I treat my boyfriend and his incredible prediction ability was appalling and out of line. They said he wasn't asking for much and I should consider it. What? I don't, like, I, he just saying, okay, I predict you will get a raise in the future. He didn't contribute to that at all. Did he help her at all with the work? Does he work with her? Does he have anything to do with her managers and stuff like that? You, okay, you predicted. Let's say you did. It's not because, it's not because of you she got the raise. It's because of her hard work. I don't understand. And he's, this guy's, he's 35. It's not like he's a little ass kid talking like this. Like, he's a grown adult. Like, why are you? Am I the asshole for leaving a vacation that I planned for my girlfriend after her friends came along? My girlfriend Sarah, 29 male, and I, male 28, have been dating for five years. I wanted to go on a vacation with her to celebrate, so I planned the trip for several months. I decided on skiing, snowboarding, and other winter activities, and the activity seemed perfect. I was looking forward to it because I wanted to propose to her at the end of the trip, but five days before the trip, she dropped the ball that she invited two of her friends to meet her there. I was upset because I wanted to spend one-on-one -on -one time with Sarah for our anniversary. And it was clear it was just for us, but she still insisted they come. I figured we could make changes to our plans and I would still be able to propose to her privately. She essentially blew me off for her friends and we didn't get any private time. After three days of being in second place, I decided to leave the trip and I headed home. I told Sarah why I was leaving and she was upset. Her and her friends ganged up on me and said we were all having a great time and she thinks I'm being a jerk for making her pick between her friends and me. I've never had issues with her friends prior to the trip and I never made her pick between us. Now I'm at home and thinking about everything and Sarah said that I ruined the trip.
This is a classic case of consequences of your actions, okay? I got a girl pregnant that I barely know and she wants to keep the baby. Back in June, my family and I, 18 male, went on a cruise for vacation. This is a cruise baby, oh my god! For anyone who hasn't been on a cruise, it's basically a giant all-inclusive party. So while my parents had spa appointments or launched by the pool, I would just go to the clubs or the pool bar and just have fun. I met a girl, 18 female, on the cruise the first night we were there and we just instantly clicked. She's gorgeous, funny, and we had a lot in common. We exchanged numbers and hung out again the next day too. Her family was staying just one day shy of mine and we pretty much hung out for the rest of the trip. We did hook up more than once, so obviously we had a lot of fun together. This is just, oh, blows my mind. I feel like these are little kids. Like, what are you doing? Go play in the kids club. Why are you sleeping with each other? Stop. We snapchatted a bit after the trip, but she lives in South Carolina and I live in Florida, so we didn't really talk and just kind of moved on. Then, one random day while I was working, she called me like three times. I hadn't heard from her in weeks, so I thought it was weird. I stepped out into the back and gave her a call. That's when she told me that she was pregnant. I was in complete shock. We used condoms and everything. And also, she sounded very excited, not upset or anything. I asked her what she wanted to do and if she needed money and she was confused. She said that obviously she was keeping it. Well, that's just not something that I agree on. I understand it is her body and her choice, but the logistics just don't make sense. She's 10 weeks now, we've talked on the phone since the first call and I've gone over options with her. She fully expects me to move to South Carolina to be with her and help her raise him. This is my first week of college and I told her I intend to graduate here. I can't afford an out-of-state school and I can't afford to just move. How am I supposed to afford a kid? and we don't even have a relationship. Yes, we got along well, but that's completely different than being a parent with someone. Thinks we can just try co-parenting, but I would still have to move for that to work out. It just seems that she has this big delusional plan and she doesn't understand why it just won't work out. She thinks I'm the one preventing it from working because I refuse to move. I don't know how else to explain to her that this just won't work. I think there's an update. Okay, I did tell my parents. They were pretty surprised and disappointed, but also agreed that we don't know for sure if it's mine. This also isn't their first rodeo with all of this. My brother knocked up his high school sweetheart, so we're just doing a great job of making them proud. They have a lawyer that they've used, so we were able to have a call with him. He actually helped me draft up a text to send to her, basically saying that I won't respond until a DNA test can be done. They do have non-invasive tests they can perform while she's pregnant. They're just expensive. My parents offered to help me with the cost, but I'm just going to suck it up and cover it. I texted her that and didn't reply to anything she sent. She went off on a tangent about how I'm the only person she slept with in months. It's fate. We're meant to be together and all that. Then there was silence for a bit and then she finally agreed to do a test. My parents lawyer found a doctor that can perform it and we schedule it for next Tuesday. So I'll be driving up to South Carolina just for the test and coming back home. I really don't want to miss much class but apparently not many places are open the weekend because of the holiday. She still texts me and tries to FaceTime me. I haven't had the heart to send anything back outside of just planning to go up there for the test. She's trying to plan for me to meet her parents, go to dinner and all of that but that's not what this trip is for. She added me to a baby Pinterest board, asked me about names, I just can't handle it. I also made an appointment with my doctor to look into getting a vasectomy because this has just scared the shit out of me and I'd rather not have it ever happen again. Oh my god, I feel bad. Okay, I kind of take back my comment, I feel so bad, like this sucks. She said it sounded like a dog's name and that it was completely absurd to name a child after a video game and that we would end up regretting it, etc. Am I the asshole for refusing to give up the name I chose for my baby? Ugh, I just hope it's not a really stupid name because I've had a lot of those and I can't keep defending them. My boyfriend, 28 male, and I, 30 female, are expecting a baby in November. When I found out I was pregnant, we agreed on an arrangement. I pick the name if it's a boy and he picks the name if it's a girl. Of course, we could decline a name if the other really didn't like it at all. We also agreed to choose a name related to video games or the geek universe, since we both share this passion. As a big fan of Kingdom Hearts, it was obvious that the name would be Roxas. <gasps> I love Kingdom Hearts and I love Roxas. I love that name. Okay, thank God it's not something crazy. We spent a lot of time playing these games together with my boyfriend during lockdown, and it's one of the best memories. On his side, boyfriend chose Melody for a girl in reference to Doctor Who, since it is thanks to our common passion for this show that we met. Okay, those are both very cute names. I like them a lot. They're not very very common they're kind of unique but they're still really cute so what's the problem he wasn't a big fan of Roxas at first just like i wasn't a fan of melody but we had fun defending the names we had chosen and we finally agreed melody or Roxas, it would be i like this i feel like the only problem that could arise from this is if someone maybe your in-laws has a problem with it turns out the baby will be a boy so Roxas it is as soon as we knew the gender we started talking to him using his first name and we even had a blanket personalized with his first name embroidered on it 
But that was without counting the in-laws, especially grandmother-in-law. She never liked me, nothing personal, just that no one is good enough for my grandson. And until now, I was dealing with it. But we made a mistake by revealing the name before the birth to our families. Of course, grandmother-in-law hated it, even more so when she found out that I had chosen it. She said it sounded like a dog's name and that it was completely absurd to name a child after a video game and that we would end up regretting it, etc. Mother-in-law pretty much agreed with her and they ended up telling us that there was still plenty of time to change. The problem is that my boyfriend is very influenceable, and since his family said they didn't like the name, he started to have doubts, telling me that it didn't seem very natural to him and that we could still change it. That he was afraid that others would make fun of him at school, but I know very well that he says that just because his family has influenced him. He ended up telling me that we would name the baby Roxas anyway, but I still feel like he is nervous about his family, and I noticed that he stopped using the name in general in conversations or when talking to the baby. Name your own kids whatever you want to name. Don't butt into other people's kids, no matter if your mom, grandma, aunt, cousin sister brother like it's a hundred percent up to the parents like it's enough to going through childbirth itself let them pick the damn name like that's it at the last family dinner my mother-in-law asked me if i changed my mind and i lost my temper a bit answering that no i hadn't changed my mind and i wouldn't no matter what they said what hurt me was that my boyfriend didn't back me up or say anything he seemed embarrassed we talked about it and he finally told me that he didn't want to fight with his family over a name and that maybe it would be good if we picked a more conventional one. I got angry and told him that I would name the baby Roxas at birth whether he wanted to or not. He didn't say anything but I can feel that he is a little bit mad at me. So I feel a little bit like the asshole here. What do you think?